Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. We are heading to Trader Joe's today. It's been a while since I have been and the fall time is always my favorite time of year to go and check out their seasonal items, see what they have for like maple and pumpkin and all of the goods and then stock up on our favorite things as well. So we are headed to Trader Joe's. Sydney just got done field hockey. She's gonna have a snack in the car. I think I still have ribs all over my head from I was wearing like hats and gloves and whatnot. It's definitely a crisp fall day. So putting me in the spirit and in the mood to go get some cozy, warm flavors. And then I will do a haul when I get back, but I also want to show you what they have in store in case you are interested. tastes like star fruit. And we have green apple, which sounds really good. <laughs> You're happy about your decision? <laughs> The way I set my bags up and look how cute it is. It's like the perfect little fall picture. Oh my word, I have so many things and it makes me so happy. All right, so I am back with a very large Trader Joe's haul. I do this every time I go there. I don't expect to get as much as I do and then I go and I'm like, oh yes, I remember that snack. That would be a nice treat to have. What about when I'm having a sweet craving? I stock up on pantry items, freezer items, um, extras here and there for Sydney's school lunches and snacks and whatnot. I truly, truly stocked up here and grabbed doubles and triples of some things that I know that we love and will be nice to have in the freezer. Um, so first and foremost, I got some of these impossible chicken nuggets and these are for me. If sometimes um, I am craving a random chicken nugget night and I usually dip them in the um, Chick-fil-A sauce, which is so delicious. These are a seasonal item and I had seen them in the flyer online and they looked delicious. I have no idea how they are. These are the Trader Joe's pumpkin cheesecake croissants frozen. I think you can pop them in the oven um, or microwave, but I just thought that it would be like a nice little, I don't know, like a little treat breakfast with a coffee or something. I will let you know how those go, I'm sure, in a video or on Instagram stories. Um, Sydney wanted some waffles, so we just have multi-green waffles, nice easy breakfast for her. I needed some frozen peas. We have a frozen raspberries. Oh no, those are melted already. Um, and then Sydney's beloved silver dollar pancakes. I did end up getting three boxes of these because we don't make the trip to Trader Joe's very often. It is nice to have a freezer stash of these and they were plenty stocked. So I went ahead and grabbed three of those. I did grab two pizzas. I don't think I've ever tried this kind. They were out of the family style that um, I usually get, but these are the margarita pizza. Um, and I just grabbed two of those to have. Can never have enough just frozen pizza on hand, <laughs> at least in my house with me, my opinion. Um, we have one of my beloveds, uh, one vegetable fried rice. I think I still have like half a bag in the freezer, so I only grabbed one of those. Love it for a quick lunch or side. 
Um, we have, I haven't bought this in a while because I kind of got sick of it, but I was craving it again. Probably tis the fall season. Um, the Gorgonzola Noki. I love Trader Joe's Noki. It's just such an easy, uh, easy meal. Like, pop it in the little, like, skillet and it's good. I did get one more Noki. This one is the mozzarella tomato sauce uh, Noki. We got some frozen broccoli florets, another frozen meal, um, the cheese-filled fiaschetti with pink sauce. It's one of my favorites. I think I get this like every time I go. It's very, very good. Um, and I ended up getting some tater tots, random, but um, Sydney enjoys some tater tots. And I want to try a tater tot bowl, like a breakfast bowl with um, tots, cheese, egg. We'll see. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, another one of my favorites. These chocolate lava cakes are so good when I am having like a sweet tooth craving moment at the end of the evening. Mm, my favorites. But I only got one. I'll probably be sad that I only got one. I only got one because I got these. Oh my goodness. I hope these are as good as they sound. Pumpkin sticky toffee cakes. And these are frozen that you can just pop in the microwave. Kind of a similar style to the lava cakes. But I had to go with them because they are a seasonal flavor. Pumpkin, toffee. I love toffee flavors. Um, if you have tried these, please let me know. I hope they are amazing. I will probably try them soon. <laughs> Round two. So... Just did the freezer items, put them away, and now I'm gonna do the refrigerated items, put them away. <laughs> um, I totally let Sydney have her kind of say and stock up on things that um, you know she wanted for school lunches and snacks and whatnot. I always keep those in mind. So she absolutely enjoys these Trader Joe's yogurt cups. So I wanted her to grab a couple of them so that um, they don't expire for another month and we will definitely use them. So she got a peaches and cream and mango and cream and the lemon and raspberry. So, um, and they're separate flavors. So there's six flavors all together. Love Trader Joe's yogurts and so does Sydney. I got her some sliced apples. I know we just went apple picking. I've been using them and whatnot. Um, and with her teeth, she had a, a tooth injury not long ago. So I just want to make sure she's eating sliced apples and not biting into a whole apple until her, her tooth heals. Um, so we just have some sliced apples, a bag of mandarin oranges. I love grabbing bags of mandarin oranges because they last a while uh, for produce at least. We have from fresh blueberries she was asking for um, and for like a vegetable for snacking and her school lunch. We have sugar snap peas. Love these from Trader Joe's. They're nice and crunchy, not too stringy most of the time. Sometimes you'll get a bad batch, but she likes those. We have some yummy little like cherry tomatoes. Um, she was asking for baby bell cheese. And there, she went through a period of time there where she was kind of sick of it because I grabbed big batches from Sam's Club. And so she was like, eh, been there, done that. But anyway, she was asking for that today. Um, I, it's been so long since I've got this, the unexpected cheddar, but I was craving this. So sliced up with some crackers. I don't know. I was just craving it. It's like a mix of Parmesan and cheddar. If you've ever had it, um, they have a bunch of different like forms of this. I, I actually think they have like a dip now, which I did not see, but, um, I wanted to grab myself some of that. We have some cheddar slices because I'm going to be making some egg and cheese on croissants and, um, figure cheddar would be yummy on that. I have a bag of avocados for our lots of avocado toast we do in our home. Um, some caramelized onion dip. It's been a little bit since I've got this and this is so good you guys. So good with crackers. It's a little bit sweet from the caramelized onions. Mm, so good. Um, a random tomato feta soup. I thought that would be nice for lunches for me while I am home and Sydney is at school. Um, I mean, she can have this too, but I kind of bought it for me. <laughs> I just needed a little bit of butter and eggs, of course. And I did get one of these uh, fresh dough. I think this is the basil kind, which is the flavor, garlic and herb. Um, and I'm going to actually pop that in the freezer because I like to have these um, on in the freezer. It's a nice, easy, you know, dinner random but I did buy some beer and a cider because I just figured I don't know I was like craving tis the season and um I saw Jacqueline Hill 
I've never heard of this beer before, but I I saw her raving about it and I like a pump, shipyard pumpkin head and I figured I would go ahead and try this. It says pumpkin pie in a glass. I like doing the cinnamon sugar rim. Um, I don't know, just something different. This, it, it's kind of expensive though. It's only a four pack for like 14 bucks. So it's kind of expensive, but hopefully it's good. And then, I don't know, I like a good hard cider once in a while. So I thought I would give this one a try. Henry's hard pressed for cider. No idea if it's good, um, but I don't know. I was kind of craving it. Be a nice little treat for me tonight. And then I got some seltzers. This one is totally new for me. I've never seen the star fruit flavor before. Hopefully it's good. I was intrigued and so I got that. And then I also got my favorite blueberry lemonade. I did notice they had a couple of new flavors like the green apple I had never noticed before. Um, but I love me some seltzer. Okay, last but not least, this is my favorite part of every Trader Joe's haul. It is the snacks and pantry portion. So, I got a ton of snacks, you guys. I typically do not buy any snacks from the regular grocery store. I buy them from Trader Joe's and they are in my home for about a month. And that is this is just where I buy my snacks. So, um, this is random, but they were giving out samples of these crackers with, um, a dip and Sydney at was like going nuts over the crackers. So I just got these because she liked them. The, uh, non, non crackers. We have everything but the bagel seasoned crackers. These are my personal favorites and I love these with any of the dips. So these with that caramelized onion dip, hi, so good. Um, this is going to be a treat cereal for Sydney. She doesn't even know that I got this. Um, this is the almond butter puffs cereal. It sounds delicious. And what is it? The Reese's puffs. I think it used to be my favorite cereal when I was younger. And so I thought I would get her this, um, as like a nice little surprise. You guys, I go nuts over these and I probably should not have them in my house because they're addicting, but the milk, cho milk chocolate covered peanut butter pretzels. So good literally the best snack known to man in my opinion i love peanut butter i love chocolate i love salty and i love sweet and it is and crunchy and soft and it's all of the above mixed together i got two bags of these because that is necessary to have i did get a package of butter croissants i love trader joe's croissants they are the best in my opinion they are huge but nice and flaky and buttery and i love doing egg and cheese um, for breakfast on these, like as a, maybe like a Sunday brunch or something. And Sydney enjoys it too. So decadent and delicious. Um, I did get some pumpkin bagels. The only thing that this is like pathetic problems. I, I just don't like when bagels are not pre-sliced for me because I am terrible at cutting them myself. It is what it is, but pumpkin bagels, I thought that those would be like a nice little seasonal treat. Sydney picked out some strawberry applesauce, then some chocolate chip granola bars, and then I picked these out because I think these are new. I have never seen them. I usually get the cocoa almond butter bars, but I noticed they had these peanut butter cocoa bars, and they're like a peanut butter dough with creamy peanut butter and cocoa filling. Oh my word, these are for me. So yummy sounding kind of a random selection of bars. I love Go Macro bars. So I got a few of these, um, the double chocolate and peanut butter chip. I think I got a few of those ones. And then one of the peanut butter chocolate chip. I love, love Go Macro bars for a nice little afternoon pick me up. Sydney has a random selection of things. She had fun picking out herself. I don't, told her I didn't want her to buy all of these because I want to buy a big pack at the grocery store. It's just more cost effective, but she loves the Z bar chocolate chip, um, granola bars. And then these are the like just fruit bars, um, apple and coconut. She has just a mango one and then a random fruit leather because one time they were out of stickers. And so they gave her fruit leather or something like that. Maybe she found the moose and the lobster that they hide around the store and I don't know but she remembered that and wanted one um oh my word 
so many snacks. We have a trail mix, uh, almonds, chocolate, cashews, pistachios, dried cranberries, and cherries. These are a nice, lovely little addition to her Benko box lunches. Um, we have these dark chocolate covered power berries. Um, I like those as a sweet treat sometimes. Again, this is not all eaten like right now. These, you know, I like savor my Trader Joe's snacks, except for those. I try, I try, but I can't. We have freeze dried strawberries for Sydney, some pecan halves. I love pecans and so does Sydney. Um, random, but basically M&M's, uh, Trader Joe's version of them. Um, we have the peanut butter caramel coated popcorn that I think is just so, so good. Again, an addicting sweet treat. So good. Um, these I had never seen before. Sea salt, uh, butterscotch caramels. I don't know, you guys. I, apparently I went there hungry. Um, just some chocolate chunks for baking. I might make some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies soon. I haven't made them yet this season if you guys can believe it i've baked other things but not those um sydney was asking if we can go ahead and get these chocolatey cat cookies for people basically like chocolate grams um we have peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets a staple just a must every time you go sydney also wanted these because they look like cheetos and then she also picked out these, which is a staple. The white cheddar corn puffs have to always get those. I needed just some peanut butter. And then this sounded delicious. I figured with our apples, we can dip them in this caramel sauce. I don't know. It sounds so yummy. Um, and then some other things that I just needed for the house. I needed some tomato paste and tomato sauce. If you remember when I was making the enchiladas, I did not have regular tomato sauce. So needed to make sure I have that on hand. Um, a roasted garlic marinara sauce. I needed some rice vinegar. I needed ketchup. Just randomly grabbed some pasta. So I have the bow tie uh, pasta that I love and then some rigatoni as well. And then this seltzer sounded delicious. It's cranberry clementine and I love this flavor combo. Usually like Thanksgiving time I start getting into it. So I thought I would give this one a try and then next time if I go and they have it, I will stock up if I enjoy it. Okay, how hungry are you after that haul? Because I am hungry and I'm salivating and I want all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this huge Trader Joe's haul um, and I look forward to me taste testing them on you know other vlogs and Instagram stories and whatnot so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this away, breathe a little bit, and then we're gonna go outside. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!